Well, let's take you to the news that we are just breaking. The exclusive interview from Headlines Today's managing editor Rahul Kamal. Well, he spoke to our founder member Shanti Bhushan, who said that Arvind Kejriwal must resign as convener and the Aam Aadmi Party National Council must elect someone else to replace him. Aam Aadmi Party National Council should meet to pick a new convener. He has accused Arvind Kejriwal of going astray and leading the party off its original track. Shanti Bhushan also added that Kiran Bedi would make best chief minister for Delhi. Ajay Makan would come in second and that Arvind Kejriwal would be his last option for Delhi chief ministership. Uh, do you believe one of the changes that should be put in place is to find a leader apart from Kejriwal? Yes. <laughs> Uh, another convener, a different convener. You think that's required? Yes, Why? that is. For this reason, a, a convener who has gone astray, who, has, who starts claiming that his voice has to prevail in respect to the majority in a committee, uh, has to be, that means he is... Um, he is uh, but will the party not fall apart if Arvind Kejriwal is no longer at the helm? You see, most people feel that since Arvind, Arvind Kejriwal has been projecting himself from the very beginning. I think the choice will have to be between Ajay Makan and Kiran Bedi because Ajay Makan has a lot of administrative and political acumen. So far as uh, uh, Kiran Bedi is concerned, her track record suggests that she would give a very honest government to Delhi. I can't say the same thing about Ajay Makan because Congress has been a party to such massive corruption in recent years that it is difficult to imagine a Congress without corruption. And I don't personally know Ajay Makan as well that I could say that he would also be totally honest if he becomes Chief Minister. So far as Arvind is concerned, Arvind has also a track record as a crusader against corruption. So he, if he becomes chief minister, I can rely on him. I want to cut across to managing the editor TV Today Network, Rahul Kaval, who got that exclusive, explosive interview. He's joining us live at this juncture. Rahul, the question I want to ask you is how, you know, how will it impact in the time of elections? How damaging will a statement like that with the founder of, from the founder of the Aam Aadmi Party be? Let's try and get some political reactions and sense how people uh, will see this interview going down. Randeep Singh Surjewala, spokesperson of the Congress party is now joining us. Uh, we've just seen Shanti Bhushan, one of the founding members of the Aam Aadmi party say Kejriwal must step down, Aap must find a new convener. What are you making of his statement, sir? Rahul, while I haven't heard the full text of uh, Mr. Bhushan's statement, I saw bits and parts of it. It reflects uh, disintegration uh, in Aam Aadmi Party, ideological as also on account of personal ego clashes and personality clashes that began a long time ago. That is why over a dozen prominent faces of Aam Aadmi Party, including its founders, have already left the party. Now with the, uh, Mr. Bhushan saying what he has said, as your channel is reporting, it reflects that Aam Aadmi Party has ceased to be party of ideals and ideology. And the philosophy of India against corruption, which really became an individual aspiration for chief ministership for Mr. Kejriwal, uh, is uh, reflected in these remarks uh, by Mr. Bhushan. Okay, Randeep Singh Surjewala for joining us with your thoughts. Thank you very much. I want to bring in also a voice from the Bharatiya Janata Party. Nalin Kohli, national spokesperson for the BJP, joining us on this broadcast. Shanti Bhushan dropping a bombshell saying that Kejriwal must step down as the convener. Aam Aadmi Party after the 10th of February find, must find a new leader. You, of course, must be celebrating and distributing laddus, Nalin. Aam Aadmi no, Party imploding. Really it is uh, not for us to celebrate on their demise. We believe the people of Delhi have a choice between what the Aam Aadmi Party has been consistently presenting itself and how they, far they've moved away from an idea they started with. And with the path of development under Prime Minister Modi that the BJP has launched. So that's what we look at it with regard to what Mr. Bhushan has said. 
let's not forget they are part of that founding thought part of that founding idea that made the aam aadmi party a political party out of a very credible movement called india against corruption which was essentially a anna hazare and uh, swami ramdev movement in response to the scams that were taking place in the country unabated and of mega uh, size so when that came the 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 goodwill that was generated out of that aam aadmi party tried to build around the thought of being different and building on that high moral base which of course in 49 days of governance we have seen the pinnacle of how far away from that idea mr kg okay nalin stay with me i want to ask you more questions but i also want to get in a voice from the aam aadmi party ashish khaitan is joining us on this broadcast ashish deeply embarrassing one of the founding members the largest donor of the aam aadmi party saying your leader arvind kejriwal must step down because he's become autocratic dictatorial uh, gone astray no longer believes in the idea that the aam aadmi party was set up with what is the aam aadmi party making of uh, shanti bhushan's outburst first of all i would like to respond uh, the summon that uh, the bjp spokesperson gave on your tv channel uh, bharti janata party was accused of Uh, deviating from its founding ideals by none other than Mr. Lal Krishna Advani. Mr. Lal Krishna Advani said, "Modi is a uh, marketing guru. That Modi is an event manager." Ashish, you are hitting Modi, out at the yes, BJP. Let me, let me, you know, there let me, can be a different opportunity you, for that. I am asking you, you here. You, what you, you make of Shanti Bhushan's no, comments? I will respond to all your questions, but let me just respond. Give me, let me allow, uh, allow me to give me a brief response to what Nalin Kohli said. not long ago al uh, lal krishna advani said that mr narendra modi is an event manager not long ago mr lal krishna advani boycotted the national executive meeting of the bharatiya janata party and said wrote in his blog that bharatiya janata party has deviated from the ideals of din dayal upadhyay that bharatiya janata party is no more the party that din dayal upadhyay and shyama prasad mukherjee had founded So first of all let uh, please ask Mr Nalin Kohli and okay, Bharatiya Janata Party Okay let me ask Nalin that to, question you are yeah, saying to, that we've got Shanti Bhushan BJP has uh, Lal Krishna Advani mind your own business these are party patriarchs you can't control what they say he cited what LK Advani did to Modi Nalin when Mr Chetan is of course entitled to make his set of accusations because he has no answers and secondly we have evolved into a government which the people of India have given us whereas they are devolving into a disaster they don't even have time people are, they have to go and present themselves to their people but if they have time outside to a television studios and their media arguments perhaps people may vote for them but okay nalin you ma- you made this point ashish nalin has responded to it now let me bring you to the most substantive aspect of what shanti bhushan says he says after the 10th of february he will call for a national council meeting where he believes there are several key members of that national council who believe that kejriwal has gone astray and he must step down as convener is that question for me yes ashish it is yeah so uh, it's the same national executive and the same national council that elected arvin kejriwal as party's convener the national executive and the national confidence national uh, council has full confidence full faith and trust in arvin kejriwal's cap- uh, capability and leadership abilities it was the national executive that chose arvin kejriwal as the chief ministerial face for this coming election like shanti bhushan there are hundreds of other members of national executive mr shanti bhushan is not even a member of uh, national council uh, he is not even a member of national executive he is not even a member of psc uh, shanti bhushan happens to be yes he is a founding member and uh, we believe in internal democracy shanti bhushan can have his opinions and shanti bhushan has uh, raised certain issues but this is something which uh, is between shanti bhushan and the party party does not endorse but you shanti bhushan concede- But you would, party even if you don't endorse his views, Ashish. But you would Shant concede Bhushan, that this is hugely Shant embarrassing. Bhushan, Coming days as it does, Ashish, hear me, hear me, please. Coming days as it does before the seventh of February, before this all-important vote, you would concede that this is majorly embarrassing for the uh, for the Aam Aadmi Party. And has said that he completely disagrees with his father's views. 
No, but I don't know if you know, in this interview I did with uh, Shanti Bhushan, he says, in private, Prashant Bhushan agrees with my views. So He's how, been gagged till the that? election results come out. We've had that? these conversations what, what, privately you, and he uh, is disillusioned with the way Kejriwal is going. This is what Shanti Bhushan said on record and, and about what, Prashant what Bhushan. Did, what did Prashant Bhushan say on record? What did Prashant Bhushan, Bhushan say on record? Prashant Bhushan said on record that he doesn't endorse his father's views. That that BJP is communal, that BJP is obscure, obscure, that BJP is uh, is a party that uh, uh, you know believes in communal ideology. This is what Prashant Bhushan has said on record, and you should not forget that Shanti Bhushan himself called but BJP Prashant a communal Bhushan party. Prashant Bhushan hasn't been active in our and, politics and recently. He's said, almost gone back entirely to his. Here. He's gone back to his law career. He hasn't been actively campaigning. No, one second, Ashish, you're shouting me down. Ashish, in the Lok Sabha elections, we saw Prashant Bhushan very active. After that, he's gone back to his law career. He's not been seen at all during this entire election campaigning, suggesting that there could possibly be some truth in what Shanti Bhushan is saying, that, uh, that Prashant too is disillusioned. Prashant uh, has never campaigned for the party in a way that Prashant would hold public rallies, that Prashant would uh, hold public meetings. Prashant has always been a crusader against corruption, when it comes to filing PIL. Uh, if you remember that just a few be weeks ago, Prashant Bhushan held a, a multiple press conferences exposing Ravi Shankar Prasad's nexus with uh, Mukesh Ambani. Uh, Prashant Bhushan held uh, press conferences exposing uh, that how Manish Tiwari and Ravi Shankar Prasad were taking huge retainer uh, fee from the Ambani. It was Prashant Bhushan who, who held that uh, press conference. For Ahmadmi Party. So Prashant Bhushan no, but has that he's done earlier in his capacity as a legal crusader. That doesn't really have much to do with the Ahmadmi Party. The fact is he's no longer as active in our politics as he earlier was. Nalin How? Kohli, do you believe no, that the outburst by Shanti Bhushan will in some sense or to some extent damage the Ahmadmi Party's credibility even further, Nalin? Nalin, do you hear me? Okay, I'll put that question to Nalin in a moment. Let me get Ashish to respond to it. At a time when public perception matters, when voters are latching on to every statement, do you believe that these comments have come at a very bad time for the Aam Aadmi Party? Will you at least concede that, Ashish? Uh, you know, actually, um, uh, we see an opportunity uh, in this outburst by Mr. Shanti Bhushan, which is largely based on uh, misinformation, lack of information, lack of uh, awareness, in how the party is run and how decisions are being taken in the party. Shanti Bhushan ji has a very peripheral view of the party. He is not involved in day-to-day -day functioning. The information that he has received is largely based on rumors and hearsay. So we are going to sort out uh, this matter with Shanti ji. But I would say that this has la uh, raised a larger issue, which is uh, he said that uh, Ms. Kiran Bedi was part of the India Against Corruption movement. Her credentials as an anti-corruption crusader are well established and he has also said in the same breath that Ms. Karan Bedi has an ideology which is more akin to the ideology of Aam Aadmi Party than of Bharti Janta Party because Bharti Janta Party is communal, because Bharti Janta Party is corrupt, okay. because Bharti Janta Party uh, funds its election campaigns with black money, with money procured through unknown sources. So, in fact, what uh, this whole outburst has done, it has brought out in the open big contradiction between Mr. Okay. Bedi's ideology so you're trying to give a positive spin to the Shanti Bharti Bhushan comments. We leave it to voters and viewers to decide what they're making of it. On headlines today, we never take sides. You've heard from Shanti Bhushan, you've seen his bombshell, you've also seen the AAP, the BJP and the Congress response. We put it all out for you to form your own view.